Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. If you are new here, welcome. We like to do cash stuffing, cash savings challenges, budgeting, that kind of thing on this channel. Hopefully soon there will be vlogs sprinkled throughout, but we will see about that soon. If you missed Monday's video, you might want to go check that one out. Basically on Monday, I pulled all of the money from all of my money binders, including my bills. And we, uh, just because I kind of felt like it was time to count all of that money, I had no idea what I was working with. And when I started YouTube four months ago, my priorities, my income, everything was completely different. A lot has changed. I was budgeting a bit differently and just all, all of the things. I don't know. I kind of felt like it was time for a restart. I pulled all of the money and counted it to see how much we had to start with in that last video. And then here we are today. So... Today we are going to be restuffing money binders and putting more money where our most upcoming priorities are. And I took out some envelopes that are either no longer a priority, they don't quite mesh with me, or it's things that I already spent, like Christmas money has already been spent, that kind of thing. Start out, I need to reorganize this money. I did take a lot of that money to the bank and just trade out for some higher bills. So you will see that. Okay, so let's just organize this money and then we will count it. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a lovely Wednesday. So I've already filmed this video twice <laughs> and I did not feel good about how I was organizing and like redoing the budget. And I feel like that that's the whole reason I'm doing this, right? Is to make the budget more what I think it's gonna be. And I think, or like what, what I feel is gonna work for me. And I think I even said in my last video that I was going to be doing things on a percentage based and I filmed a video and organized all this money already and I did that, I did it that way and then I just felt like that is not, I felt like it's not going to work for me. I feel like if there's kind of an unwritten code or understanding on this channel, it is that I like to cash budget but I want to keep it as simple and as clear as possible. That's just sort of... That could also be like my life motto, really. I just want things to be simple. I want them to be organized. And I didn't feel like the percentage-based method is gonna give me quite what I was going for. I also felt like, uh, the other thing is, I'm really trying to feel less stressed about my bills, but also make sure I'm prioritizing my sinking funds. I did talk about percentage-based bu budgeting in my last video, so let me just talk quickly about why I think that's not gonna work. I still think it's going to stress me out not knowing if and when I have enough for bills. Also, going back to simplicity, and I'm gonna follow my own advice and go back to two binders. Take that back, three binders, because I do have an everyday spending style binder for like groceries and gas. But one of these has sinking funds, one of these has savings challenges, and that is all I'm going to. I'm going to take out my bills binder. So over time lately, I have built up to using five different binders and with my new budget, with my new income, it's really kind of stressing me out to keep up with all of the things. Also, my bills are so much more at this point, and I don't know that I feel great about having that much money in my house, especially as my YouTube channel grows. So what I'm going to be doing is pulling bills, putting them in that new savings account that I created, and bills will be mentioned in my videos, but you won't see me counting out the bills. Also, I'm not pulling a percentage for bills specifically every week. I will be putting $500 aside as soon as my money comes in for the week. I'm gonna put $500 into savings. Whatever is left over, I will then pull, put into savings challenges, put into sinking funds, and put into my variable spending. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm down to just three binders now. I may go back to a bills binder at some point. I may go back to a business binder at some point. But for now, I'm just trying to simplify things as everything is changing around because like I said, I really already filmed this video once. I tried it that way and that was still stressing me out. Okay, before we count the money, we ended with $2,450. So I did take $60 out for a haircut. I took out $80 for car maintenance because you guys know I'm going to Tennessee in just a couple of days. So I wanted to get my car sort of up to date. I also took out $120 minus $120 for a AAA membership because I'm going on this road trip with my sister. I'm really nervous something's gonna happen and I don't have a husband anymore. I don't have my dad on this trip. So like, 
uh, what is the next best option? You know, it's AAA. So I bought a AAA membership for the entire year. You will see there's now a sinking fund. So next year I will be prepared for that expense, but I did get the highest membership they have for $120. So we should only have $2,190 left in this. So let's go ahead and count that and make sure we have what we think we have. 50, 100, 50, 200, 53, 4, 500, 50, 600, 700, 8, 9, 1,000. We have $1,000 there. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 2, 4, 6, 8, 600. 2, 4, 6, 8, 700. 2, 4, 6, 8, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 900, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2,000 dollars, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. What did I do wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I counted 2,200 either. We have an extra 10 in here that I did not mean to still have, or I just miscounted somewhere along the way, which is also very, very highly likely, right? So we have sort of the money we think that we have. Because I did pull money from my bills binder and that is included in here, and we are in the middle of this month. Basically, we owe ourselves $1,000 in bills. So that is going to bring us down to 1,100 or 1,200, if depending on which time I was right when I counted. <laughs> okay, and then we will restuff the 1,200 and we will restuff it depending on like what is the biggest priority right now. Are any of you reshuffling? your budgets right now. Is anybody else doing this? I think a lot of people do this around the first of the year. For me, like I said on Monday's video, I tend to do this way more frequently. It's just I've been on YouTube for four months and I really didn't want to mess up our flow or confuse anyone, but it's just, it's time for me, you know, to do this at this point. So let's take out a thousand to put aside and I will put that in the savings account. And then from now on, I will always put aside 500 first and then we will stuff whatever is left. So that makes so much more sense than what I was trying to do. Okay, per usual, that was a hot mess. So let's try that again and make sure I pulled a thousand dollars and we will put this aside to put in the bank for bills. 50, 100, 50, 2, 300, 400, 500, 2, 4, 6, 8, 600, 2, 4, 6, 8, 700, 2, 4, 6, 8, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000. All right, so that 1,000 is going to the bank. Let's set that aside. And now we get into the fun part where we are going to restuff all of our sinking funds and savings challenges. So let's start with our sinking funds. These are things that I feel like for the most part are coming up more quickly. And so I want to make sure they get money. Now the rest of this video, I did not plan where this money is gonna go. So we're just restuffing these how I see fit. So like towards the end of this binder, we may not have a lot to play with. So I don't know, good luck to us. So moving, I am going on this moving trip in just a couple of days. So we had we had $176 in here. We are gonna restuff this and put 200, so a little more than we had, 50, 100, 50, 200. I did get some more tips from you guys this week and that video will come out later this week. So this binder will be getting more money. So any of you that left me tips on Etsy, this week those tips are all going to this moving trip. The way I set it up originally, we were only gonna have one full day in Nashville we expanded our trip and now we're gonna have two days. So I'm gonna have to find money to cover that extra day of the hotel and I'm gonna need a little bit more spending money, but it is going to work out. We will figure that out in our next cash stuffing and make sure we get ourselves some more money. 
This is a new category, memberships. So right before I started YouTube, I paid a lot of different memberships for museums and um, like children's museums and play places, the zoo, the aquarium. Basically, I spent a lot of money on all the memberships at once because I knew a year from that point we would be moving and I wanted to be able to use up a full year of memberships. Well, it's just kind of hitting me that when we move in about seven months, we will have to rebuy all of the memberships in our new location. So I do, I, so I did create a memberships category and we are going to add $60 today just to give us a little jump start on that. I live in South Mississippi and I know memberships in Nashville are going to be a lot more expensive. Car maintenance, I just spent a lot of money on car maintenance so I don't foresee needing anything else but the thing about car maintenance is you never really foresee that happening right then, right? So we're gonna put $30 just to kind of give us a little start in the car maintenance again even though we just spent a ton on car maintenance and oil change and that kind of thing. Haircuts, we all just got haircuts, so I'm not gonna put anything in here just yet. We have at least a month before my boys are going to need another haircut. Sick days, I like to keep $30 in sick days. That is not for medicine. This is for if we need extra fast food whenever I'm sick and I just don't really, I don't wanna cook, or if I'm the one that's sick and my kids aren't sick or they're starting to feel better, I might buy them a Lego set sometime, just something easy to keep them entertained. We obviously pulled all the money from all of these, so let's just restart this with $5 since that's not a huge priority and we can live without that one. New phone, new phone we're going to put $60. My, the phone that I like is an iPhone SE. It's a smaller iPhone. I've had mine for almost six years, maybe a little more. I don't know, I've had mine for forever. And it's lasted great. It is starting to get a little funky though. And I think it's just old. It's been through a lot. We are gonna restart this with uh, $70 just because I do think this is something that's coming up soon. So for now, we'll start it with 70. Car insurance is due in February for me. Let's give 70, 80. Let's do 80 in the car insurance because it's not right now, but it is coming up. Car tag, y'all, I have sort not bragged, but like been very excited on this channel to realize that my car tag in Mississippi, it's only $30 and it's so much cheaper than everyone else's. Well, I realized just a couple days ago, I was like, well, girl, you're moving to Tennessee. So <laughs> next year, I have no idea what my car tag will be. I'm sure it's gonna be more than $30. And I guess I need to pay it sooner than a year. Like if I move, I have to get a new tag as soon as I get to Nashville, right? I don't remember how that goes. I've, I've moved around a lot in my life um, and I don't think you guys on my channel know this, but but I mean, I've lived all over the country and I've lived in other countries, but there's still a lot of adulting that I, <laughs> that I just never figured out how to do that I'm having to figure out on this move. Car tag, so we're gonna put $20. Uh, AAA, this is something that is new to me. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I just paid $120 for the entire year for AAA. That's for their highest membership. They will tow me like really far and there's extra perks. And I was like, yes, girl, that is the one that I want. I want all of the things. So we're gonna put, we don't need to put 20. We'll put five, will we put five? We'll put $6 just to get that started. That's not anything that's coming up at all soon but why not? Mother's Helper, okay, so I did away with my Bills Binder starting now. We can always undo it. If we decide that we missed the Bills Binder, we will get it back, but for now, we are doing away with the Bills Binder, and so there are a couple of bills that I don't pay online that I want to save cash for, so this will be rotating even though it's a sinking fund. After all, also, I forgot to make myself look like a placeholder so I wrote on this one I'm sorry my handwriting is terrible I will fix it later I'm paying $50 a week for a mother's helper to come help me one day a week so I need to be stuffing this constantly and I will be paying her with this money the next month so we're only gonna put 30 in I do have a little like next week there's no school so I won't need her next Monday uh, so I have a little bit of time to start building this up so we're just gonna put 30 for now Allowance, guys, my kids have never, ever, ever been good at chores. Now they're only just now five, just now seven. Like they, they just kind of grew up on me, right? I started with my kids 
this little it's basically chores that are more self-care so like brush their teeth twice a day make their bed get dressed in the morning they need to pick up toys read for 20 minutes there's a mom's choice so once a day they ask me what chore they need to do and then I tell them whatever I need done that day you know take a bath so if they do all of these things without me prompting them and sort of like you know low-key harassing them over then they get to mark it off with a dry erase marker and then at night, they bring me their chore chart and I will give them a dollar. So if it's all filled in, I need to write that back for him. Sorry, sorry Jericho. <laughs> um, if they bring it to me and they have done all of the things for that day, then they get a physical dollar that night. So on a weekly chore chart schedule, they have never done their chores because by Friday, it's like they forgot they cared about that money by the time it would come around. So they are, um, Maybe their age, I don't know. I'm incentivized by making money daily too, so I get it. Uh, but this is really, really working for them. And so I mentioned that because uh, I took allowance out of the, if you have been, if you've been watching, you know, I had this in my wallet and then the intent was like allowance money would then change to their spot if they earned it for the week. That was not working for us. They kind of forgot about it. They never cared. So the daily chart is working for us. So this is coming out of my variable spending binder and they now have their own money binders that they keep up with. And I will say too, my youngest is not as incentivized by it. I still have to really bug him and he doesn't get allowance on most days. So my goal is to have $35 because I know my oldest is going to do it every single day. My youngest might do it here and there at this point. So I need $35 in ones to be able to pay them for their allowance throughout that next month. If that makes sense, y'all know I like to be a month ahead. So we are going to go ahead and put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll put $7 in allowance. Okay, so that is a good start for allowance. Technically, this next category is a savings challenge, but I have it in this binder for a specific reason. Maybe we can get into that in a different video, but right now we are just going to, um, we're just gonna roll roll on. We're gonna roll with it. I am stuffing $60. My goal is to kickstart this by coloring off three of them, and maybe it will encourage me to pick up the pace and do higher amounts as we go on. So we will see how that goes. Oh, oh, wait a second. Okay, before we move on, I did just want to talk about, there are a couple categories that are missing from here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I took out the business envelope. That is for my paper planner business. I will be spending money on business soon because there are some samples that I need to buy. I have not spent that money yet, but that will have to come out of somewhere. But I just kind of felt like business, I will be... <sighs> Uh, there are some business expenses I think I'm going to be putting on credit and then after the launch I will just pay that credit immediately. It is a paper planner business though and I don't see high expenses starting out. We are going to talk all about that business very soon but just know that that is out of here even though it's a priority it's just it's not going to be in this binder anymore. Uh, the only other thing we took out are glasses because I do have new glasses for myself and my son and I have new contacts. So I didn't feel like it was a priority right now, but of course that category will come back once I feel like it needs to be back on my radar. And then I took out something else. Oh, I took out three other things. I took out clothes because also we just spent a ton on clothes. I took out family fun because that is moving over to our variable expense binder. That needs to come out of our weekly spending. And I took out books. Books is something that you guys were excited about because you know I do the 12 days of Christmas. I do books for my kids for those 12 days of Christmas. I did take that money out of my sinking funds because I just rediscovered thrift books. So I will be spending about 20 to $30 on thrift books. Um, if you haven't checked that out, go check out that website. You can get really cheap books and they're, they're used, but my kids don't care. I don't care. I did not feel like it was a big enough expense though to where I needed to have a sinking fund for it anymore. I'm about to spend that money and get those books for them for Christmas and it will just have to come out of my weekly spending or family fund money for that week. 
Okay, so I think a couple categories did come out of this one as well, so we'll talk about it as we get to it. You can see right off the bat, the $1 challenge did come out of this binder. I kinda just felt like the $1 challenge isn't where I'm at right now. It was just something to be stuffing, and I don't really enjoy that, so we are going to be switching to just a $5 and a $20. So we took out the $1 challenge card and $10 challenge card, and we will just be stuffing five, 20, and the 50 envelope challenge. All of those categories will be going to my big move. $5 challenge, we did have a lot in here. I think we will stuff, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. We'll put $35 back into the $5 challenge. We had more, it's just there are more pressing needs before the move and so that's why this these next categories really had to take a hit i would love to be saving for more for my big move i just realistically there are other things that i'm more worried about <laughs> right now so for the 20 dollars challenge we're going to put back two four six eight one hundred we're going to put one hundred dollars in there and i'm not going to change the place card holders for these just because i don't want to <laughs> just because i don't want to um, we're just gonna leave it. I will change the 50 envelope challenge because this money clearly will not match if I don't. I think instead of starting with my lower numbers though, I'm going to mark off some of these higher numbers just because I think my brain will like that better. <laughs> so we're going to put, let's do, we'll put a 50 in there. We will put, and we'll put 25. We may come back and do more for this one. And next we, and the next time we stuff these envelopes, I'll come back and color those in. I just, this video is already long, I can tell. I can tell, I can tell. New car, we're gonna put $100 back into new car because this poor little car, we just colored it and then I pulled all the money from my binders. So we are going to put $100 back into new car. Tuition, you guys know I pulled my back to school envelope and I am going to be focusing on paying tuition for a private school or a co-op if I have to. I am hoping I can afford that. My kid that is homeschooling has been doing amazing homeschooling. So this is something that is going to be a struggle for me to meet, but I feel like it's kind of needed. It is very much like needed or required at this point. So we're gonna put 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, We'll put 80. So we'll put $80 into tuition because this is something I will need at the start of next year's school school year. And we'll see, again, that's something we can really chat about in another video. This is empty because we are going to be putting in a new category and that is for a washer and a dryer. I need a washer, no, a dryer. I need a dryer very badly. Mine still works, but I have to run, <laughs> I have to run it like two maybe three times depending on how big the load is which is ridiculous so we're gonna put twenty dollars towards dryer so we will get to color in two of these spots we will do that in another video and i'm hoping that my current dryer will last me another six months until i move but honestly it may not that may not happen baseball sinking fund i only have two dollars in there i'm gonna leave those two dollars there winter vacation we had let's see what we had we had 67, so we are going to do 2, 4, 40, 50, 60, 70 into, oop, that's not right. We're going to do 70 into winter vacation. Oh, okay, wait, pause all of that. Let's, let's backtrack. We had 100, we had 212 in, uh, in self-care. We took away $60 because I got a haircut. So we should be putting about 150 back into self-care. I don't think I have that. 90, 90, 100, 120, 30, 40, 41, 42. So 142 is going back into self-care. So we just shorted ourselves $10. We will be pulling some of this self-care money to go into our moving trip that is just in a couple days. And that we will also be getting sunglasses with some of that money. I feel good about where we're at with that. You guys have also tipped some this week and that will go into self-care. The only thing we are shorting is Etsy. I am doing a cash stuffing tomorrow with this week's money. So remember we did have to take out $1,000 out of our money to go towards bills and we did not have that much set aside previously. So we kind of had to catch up on bills to get back on track. 
Etsy will be getting at least what we had in it previously, but it will definitely be getting money back into that when I cash stuff tomorrow. That is it for today's video. Transitions are not ever fun, so sorry if I've confused you guys along the way. I'm a little bit confused, if I'm being honest. I'm trying to change a lot of things, which is why we're going back to the basics of just a savings challenge, just sinking funds. I got that backwards. Savings challenges, sinking funds, something like that. Um, and our variable expenses. So we will still have two videos per week that are cash stuffings and you will see in the future sort of where we're at and how that's going. So stay tuned if that interests you. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here for another video. Thank you for being with me as I transition, how I'm doing things. You guys really help keep me accountable with my budget and you help me really think out and plan the best way to do things. So thank you for that. I love commenting with you guys. So please comment below. I will be around today to chat with you guys. So as always, thank you so much for being here and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.